How are you? Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Just very quickly, I wanted to find out how things were going in terms of yourself. I know you've got a big fight coming up. So just very quickly, I wanted to hear how things were going with you. Yeah, things are going uh, good. Just got the, like, say, I've got a fight coming up on Saturday. Yeah, obviously, I know you've got that fight coming up. Uh, it's a change of opponent. It was Nicholas Firtha before. Now you've got somebody else. What happened? Uh, I'm not too sure to be honest with you. I don't really get involved in opponents. I just, uh, I just, I just get turned up and fight. Yeah, I've, I've read reports that they say that uh, your your uh, dad's been saying, Peter, saying that you you're in the best shape of your life. How how do you feel about that? Yeah, I'm, uh, I put weight on my man and I'm uh, feeling good. And I can't wait to uh, fight Saturday. Okay. I'm doing my talk in the ring. Absolutely, we know that of you. you. You're a man that likes to do the business inside the ring rather than to do the talking. What about the fact that you, uh, you know, you've been training? Obviously, Tyson's obviously got his big fight for Klitschko. Is there any difference now because obviously Tyson's fighting for a world title now? Is there any difference in terms of how you train? Has that affected you as well? Have you had to raise your game or what? Yeah, I train exactly the same as Tyson as yeah. always. Uh, same sparring partners, oh. everything. So. So have you well, been, I put in. I put in. So have you benefited from that in any sense? Because obviously Tyson's had to bring in quality sparring partners. How have you, how have you benefited from that? Yeah, I benefit from all the camps, all the special all Tyson spar partners. I've learned everything from uh, it's a good experience for me, and uh, yeah, it's up the game more. So like I say it's more experienced uh, men who sparring, and uh, I learn more from every day. So. I can't wait to jump in now and put it all together. Absolutely. Now, uh, you're going to be on Channel 5 again, fighting. Yeah, Channel 5 and then two weeks later in Germany. Wow. I mean, that not isn't, isn't that a good thing for yourself? Yeah, I love fighting a lot, so uh, I can't wait. So, on the on the undercard, uh, in, in Germany you're fighting. You, who are you fighting in Germany? I wouldn't have a clue, to be honest with you. <laughs> I just, uh, like I said, I just show up. You just show up and do the business? Yeah, I'm not bothered who's in the ring. As long as I've got my gloves on and that's his way he's on and there, uh, we fight. What do you, what do, what do you, what are you going to be bringing differently from previous fights to this fight now? Do you think, or what do you hope to to show the the boxing world in this fight? You have to wait and find out. <laughs> <laughs> You're not giving much away today, are you? No, nope, not at all. I'm in a stubborn <laughs> mood. Okay, okay. Do you um? In terms of Anthony Joshua and Dillian White, that's the big fight that's on December the 12th. Do you have any views about the fight or how the fight is going to go in any way, shape or form? Um, I think it's a 50-50 fight with them too. They're both uh, big punchers and the uh, both won it, so best time will win. Okay, okay. It's and going away. I've got power, haven't they? So Absolutely. Who runs first? Absolutely. How, do you think it'll be a short fight? Do you think it'll be a long fight? Uh, I can't see it being a long fight, to be honest with you. Wow. So I reckon it'll be a short fight. Do you lean one way or the other, or do you, or, or is it a pick and fight for you? I can't, I can't pick one, to be honest with you. It's that close. Yeah. And finally, because you're right in the camp, what's Tyson's mood like, days counting down to this big fight with uh, Klitschko? What's his, what's his mood like? Mood like, uh, it's a... His moves, like as you can see, in with the um, with that what's it called? That fruit. <laughs> and he smashed his head again. That's it. That's how good of a mood Tyson's in. <laughs> and let's close by saying, have you got a message to your your fans and people that support Huey Fury? Yeah, uh, just thank everyone for the support, and uh, I hope you enjoy the two fights coming up. Huey, thank you so much for talking to Bayloric TV as always. Yeah, you too, sir. God bless you. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.